Hi, welcome to our show Around Thurston County. I'm your host, Patrick Babineau. Around Thurston County is all about the people, places, and issues that make Thurston County an interesting place in which to live and work. Today, we're in downtown Olympia at the historic Capitol Theater, and we're with Helen Thornton, film programmer for the Olympia Film Society, to be talking about the Society and the upcoming film festival in November. So we're very excited to be here, and thank you very much, Helen, for having us thank here you. today. Why don't we get right to some of the questions, if we may. For viewers who may actually not know, could you tell us a little bit about the history and the purpose of the Olympia Film Society? Well, it was started about 32 years ago by a small group of dedicated um, community members who volunteered to start a venue to show independent films mm -hmm. in Olympia, because right. was, there was no venue for showing independent films. Mm -hmm. And here we are 32 years later, we're, we've been a venue for not just uh, films, but also live music. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful stage in our theater, and also we have a mezzanine that's got an art gallery. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, the Film Society itself is centered here at the uh, Capitol Theater, and this is a wonderful historic building. Can you tell us a little bit about this unique historic building? It was built in 1924, and it's uh, Joseph Wolob, uh, who was an architect in uh, the Puget Sound, and there's a number of Wolob buildings around Olympia, and right. this was one of his buildings. Mm -hmm. And um, even the Seattle paper in 1924 touted it as a premier classic uh, mm -hmm. film theater. Right. And we've been fortunate in the last few years just to, uh, to buy the theater. It's mm -hmm. been our venue for a number of years. But, Great. But now we're buying it, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, like I said, it has a beautiful stage, mm -hmm. has a mezzanine, a balcony, mm -hmm. um, and it's just a, a very classic art house theater. Yeah, it's, it's just wonderful. Could you tell us a little bit about your weekly film series that you have? Well, we're pretty much open almost 365 days a year. We're closed a few days, but um, every week we screen films, mm -hmm. uh, fiction, narrative, documentaries, mostly new films, right. sometimes classic films. The term independent film is is not quite what it used to mean, but mm -hmm. we do screen films that otherwise wouldn't be brought to the South Sound right. um, other than the multiplex theaters. So we show a huge variety of comedies, mm -hmm. um, and we're, like I said, we're open Monday through S Sunday, mm -hmm. and we have matinees, and um, basically we, we show whatever film we think is you know, is a good film for mm -hmm. that sort of fits our mission. And some of them could include foreign films, right? Oh, definitely. Right. We show uh, films that are um, subtitled. Right. And uh, we do bring Oscar-winning films, Oscar-nominated and Oscar-winning films, mm -hmm. um, usually starting in January before the Oscars in February. So we do bring some major releases, particularly Oscar-nominated films. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, what types of well, you, you kind of mentioned the different types of films that, that come here. Um, who are the people that, that, that come to this theater? That... We have all different kinds of people. We have state workers, retired mm -hmm. people, right. students who go to SPSAC or St. Martin's University or mm -hmm. Evergreen. Um, we have seniors that come. Right. Um, all different kinds. And mm -hmm. we do um, teenagers mm -hmm. come to our theater. So we... Pretty much our audience runs the gamut of, mm -hmm. sort of represents the whole Olympia mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. um, uh, could you tell us a little bit about some of the special events that you have that you uh, could highlight that actually occur before your upcoming film festival in November? Well, one of the things we're doing right now is we're doing a fundraising campaign for a digital cinema system. Wow. Um, what's been happening with film theaters is there's a transition from there's been a transition from 35 millimeter film to a digital, all digital cinema. Right. So in order for us to continue to get um, brand new titles, mm -hmm. we are having to make that conversion. We will be keeping our 35 millimeter projectors. Right. So that we can show classic films. Mm -hmm. um, Wonderful. And archive films. We actually mm -hmm. have two 35 projectors. But we are doing this fundraiser so that we can show new titles. Mm -hmm. And this digital cinema system, we're fortunate to have Elliot Gould, uh, the well-known actor, mm -hmm. do three right. events for us. One mm -hmm. of them will be in 
Bellevue on October 18th. He's doing a fundraiser at Goldberg's Deli. Oh, okay. Um, and then on October 19th, he mm -hmm. will be in Olympia um, at the governor's mansion. Oh. And it's going to be a reception and silent live auction. Wow. And then uh, later that evening, he'll also be at the Capitol Theater here mm -hmm. at the Olympia Film Society to do a Q&A after the screening of the award-winning film MASH. Wonderful. That he starred in in the 70s. Right. So I would say those are probably the three, the, mm -hmm. the three main. And then, not to leave out this one, we will have actress um, Denise Crosby, who's going to be also here in October. And she'll be here on October 20th, and she'll be here to introduce and do a Q&A after the classic Stephen King story that was made into a film called Pet Cemetery, and that's oh. also that will also be a fundraiser for our digital cinema system. Wonderful. So you have three or four special events? Four, actually, four? yeah. Wonderful. Right. And all in October. Those are all in October, and mm -hmm. those are all to raise money for our digital cinema system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if people want to find out more about when these specific events are, where would they check? They just have to go to uh, our website, which mm -hmm. is www. OlympiaFilmSociety.org, just mm -hmm. all spelled out, no spaces, mm -hmm. and they very easy website to navigate. Um, Good, very simple. Great, and 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 we have time. Spend some time, if you would, uh, sharing with us what is planned for the annual Olympia Film Festival. Well, two a uh, couple of really exciting things are happening. Uh, one is we've got the well-known actress Shirley Jones. Mm -hmm. We're going to be screening her film that she starred in, Carousel. Mm -hmm. And she'll be here for an intro and a Q&A during the festival. Oh, really? Yes. Wonderful. And uh, we'll be um, also be hosting Peter Coyote, the well-known actor Peter Coyote. Mm -hmm. He will be here uh, screening one of his films and mm -hmm. doing a Q&A afterwards. So that's pretty exciting to have yeah. these sort of that's wonderful. kind of icons of, of really? film. And uh, opening night's always exciting. It's sort of like a party, the mm -hmm. opening night of the festival, which mm -hmm. is November 8th. Mm -hmm. We'll be screening a film called uh, Swim, Little Fish, Swim. Mm. And that will be followed by, uh, with separate admission, a concert by a new band called Julie Ruin. Oh. And that uh, features a former Olympian, uh, pretty well-known musician, Kathleen Hanna. Mm. So that will be... Later on that night, after mm -hmm. opening night, we will have a concert of Julie Rowan with Kathleen Hanna, which mm -hmm. people are pretty excited about. Great. And how long is the festival? I mean, how, how many weeks? It runs 10 days. 10 days, okay. It goes from November 8th to November mm -hmm. 17th. Mm -hmm. And what might people expect to see during those 10 days? Well, we're going to have um, three children's films, brand new children's films, mm -hmm. um, throughout that week. And the weekend mornings, we'll have some children's programming. Mm -hmm. And we'll also be screening, um, let me look at my list here, we'll be mm -hmm. screening some films um, that are fiction, um, some documentaries. Wonderful. Um, a good mix. Foreign language films. Mm -hmm. we'll, sh we'll have a collection of experimental short films. Excellent. Uh, let me look at my list here. We're going to mm -hmm. be showing a film that was directed by famous actress Ida Lupino. People oh. don't realize she made two or three films with really? a director. Really? Yeah, I did We'll be know showing that. that film called The Bigamist. Wow, um, The Bigamist. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she was at, Ida Lupino was actually the director. Uh -huh. So a lot of people don't know she also was a director. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so within 10 days, we have a huge amount of films that we screen. We'll mm -hmm. have a collection of local shorts that we'll screen on mm -hmm. one of the weekends that mm -hmm. will highlight local filmmakers in the Puget Sound, which mm -hmm. is pretty exciting for local filmmakers to be able to see their short films on the big screen. So. Could you tell, just spend a moment or two, if you wouldn't mind, telling about the local films that you highlight? Uh, what, what is that for, and how does that... Well, the, f the film festival, this is our 30th, mm -hmm. so we've always had one or two slots for... Puget Sound, particularly Olympia filmmakers, right. um, to, to submit their short films Excellent. to us. We have um, members of uh, the Olympia Film Society look at them, mm -hmm. kind of see which ones they want to pick. We have right. sort of a dedicated small group of people who are programming that mm -hmm. shorts collection. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some of them may be 10 minutes, some of them may be three minutes. Mm -hmm. Some of them are experimental. Some of them are um, sort of personal mm -hmm. shorts. Some of them are complete fiction, mm -hmm. short stories that people have written. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great way to let local filmmakers mm -hmm. 
show their films and, in, a, in a great venue. And what's the timeline for a local filmmaker to submit something like that to? Well, they would have had to have submitted it by August 12th. August 12th. Right. Yeah, because okay. at this point, we're actually putting the program to bed. It's mm -hmm. going to be laid out next week. So mm -hmm. uh, generally, they have to submit by sort of mid-October. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, mid-August. Mid yeah. Mid-August, yeah. right. And so that will be, that'll uh, be, um, so a few of those films will be selected to uh, show. In a collection called Local Shorts. So Excellent. it'll be about an hour, hour and a half mm -hmm. uh, on one of the weekends of the festival. And, mm -hmm. and so it'll be a collection of shorts. And how have the rep the rep public re responded to those local films? People love them. Right. Um, we usually have a packed house, mm -hmm. um, you know, because people, uh, whether you live here in Tacoma or right. maybe Lewis County, mm -hmm. you you know, you've got family members and friends who come. Maybe right. they were in it. Maybe they mm -hmm. were sort of helping with the tech. Right. So it's sort of it's sort of kind of an exciting right. kind of way for people to let their friends see what they've been spending all their time on. Yeah, yeah that's wonderful. That's great. Um, the The Film Society needs volunteers, doesn't it? Oh, always. And yes. could you tell us, we have a few moments, can you tell us a little bit about what type of volunteers you need and how people could volunteer to help out this, this really wonderful resource, cultural resource we have here? People uh, volunteer in many ways. Mm -hmm. um, they can be trained to be a lobby supervisor. Mm. Uh, they can be trained to be to sell tickets at the box office. Right. Uh, some people uh, come in just to volunteer to tear tickets when people come in and mm -hmm. hand their ticket and tear them. Right. Uh, we do a raffle at every screening so people hang on to their torn ticket because right. we have a raffle prize at every movie screening. That's right. Um, you can be trained to be sell concessions. Mm -hmm. um, some people train to be projectionists which of course is a much longer training. That's right. Um, so there's lots of uh, volunteer opportunities. We've got some people who are just strictly work on the database, the mm -hmm. membership database, who are volunteers. Wonderful. Um, so basically, when you come to a film, the people you see in the lobby, the lobby soup, the concessionaire, mm -hmm. uh, the projectionist, everybody's a volunteer. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's a pretty cool concept. It yeah. is, right. How yeah. many volunteers do you have? I think we have about 100. Wonderful. Yeah, roughly. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Wow. But we always need more. Mm -hmm. We have some seniors that are volunteers. Mm -hmm. We'd love to have more seniors. Excellent. Um, we've mm -hmm. had some teenagers who mm -hmm. also volunteer, young right. people who who really love to work here, and it's it's really kind of a uh, it's really kind of a family atmosphere. And yeah. if you have that makes it yeah. that makes it even even more special, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. To have that kind of family atmosphere because people care about film. And filmmaking, and, and they care about the, the theater, and they you know they care about the fact that the we community. do live music. That's right. And you know we have this great stage to do live music, and mm -hmm. so as a volunteer, you really sort of feel like you're you're part and parcel of this great organization. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and if someone wants to volunteer, what what do they need to do? They can go to our website, mm -hmm. um, OlympiaFilmSociety.org, mm -hmm. and they can click on. There's a tab that they can click on right. that talks about volunteering, mm -hmm. there's a phone number to our volunteer coordinator, mm -hmm. um, or you can email the volunteer coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's pretty easy, and then depending on what you want to be trained for, mm -hmm. you'll be set up to do trainings. Excellent. Yeah. And you were mentioning that... And then you do get, you do get um, once, when you volunteer, you do get free movie passes, so I shouldn't forget that. Oh, really? That. Oh, that's forgot. the added yeah. incentive. Yeah. Sorry, oh, wow, that. that's wonderful. Yeah. So, so someone could volunteer so many hours a week or a month and could get a... a they get free movie passes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Hmm. Um, you mentioned that uh, another thing that the uh, society does is ha have music, musical events. Could you tell us a little bit about those? Um, Audrey Henley, who is our theater manager and live events person, she right. books the live music events. Mm -hmm and has been doing it for a long time, even, even before she came to Olympia. And mm -hmm. because we have this wonderful stage, right. and this, we seat 750 people, so wow, it's, a, it's a great venue for, great. for large events. And um, so all throughout the year, just as we have films all year, we have live events all year, we have live music all year, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, knew, I, I, and I do wanna say that the, the film festival was, is always a collaboration. I booked it this year with another staff person, Joaquin De La Puente. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and I were co-programmers for the film festival. Right. But also, we had meetings where members and patrons came and suggested titles for the festival. Mm. Um, it's really a collaborative effort between the staff, 
mm -hmm. volunteers, members, and even patrons. So you, you don't have to be a member to come to OFS. Wow. Anybody can come, see a live show, mm -hmm. see a movie. Mm -hmm. um, we do love people to join, but you don't have to be a member to come here. Mm -hmm. But it does help to be members, doesn't it, to have it that does. membership? Can you explain a little bit what, it, what a member is and what that involves and why that's important to the Olympia Film Society? When you're a member, you save, for films, you save $3. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're basically saving $3 a film when you become a member. Mm -hmm. uh, we have memberships of all different levels, mm -hmm. uh, low-income student all the way up to um, higher levels. Right. And it's a yearly membership. Um, you will save also a ticket price if you go to a live show here. Well, mm -hmm. You will save money. Mm -hmm. And uh, membership is a way for us to have some regular money coming in. Mm -hmm. um, and it also, because we are a nonprofit, right. tax-exempt organization, um, once a year, which we actually have one coming in September, we have our annual meeting where members come and get to vote on bylaws changes and things like that. So oh, it's, I see. Right. it's like any nonprofit. Right. Um, so the membership's really important to us. Mm -hmm. um, we're a member-driven organization, but again, to see a live film or, or uh, live music, you don't have to uh, be a member. Mm -hmm. so. Wonderful. And how do people, again, get involved in the Olympia Film Society? You have a website that you're suggesting people go to. Yeah, it's www.olympiafilmsociety.org. Mm -hmm. And we do have a phone number, mm -hmm. which is 754-6670. Um, and then you can listen to the prompts if you want to talk to an actual real-life person, which right. is always kind of nice for people. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. Great. And you mentioned earlier seniors. Uh, in Thurston County, uh, the senior population um, is now around approximately 15% of the total population. And that's going to increase to over 20% in the next yeah. 18 to 20 years. So the senior population is growing here. And a lot of seniors come here as a place to relocate to. So how, do, how are seniors involved in the Olympia Film Society? We do have some seniors who are have been longtime volunteers. We mm -hmm. always we always would love to have more seniors. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely have seniors who are patrons who come mm -hmm. to the music events, who come to the film film screenings. Right. Uh, come to, when we uh, do art shows in the gallery. Come to the art shows. But mm -hmm. we always are looking for more senior volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, and I know we have a we have a new uh, volunteer coordinator, and I know she's. Um, really going to try to emphasize trying to get even more senior volunteers mm -hmm. to help to help us out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about the Olympia Film Society or the upcoming festival? Um, I would say that uh, the Capitol Theater, it's, we're really a one-of-a-kind theater. Um, there's not many independent theaters left in this country, particularly mm -hmm. with the transfer to the digital cinema system right. from not using 35 millimeter. Right. And uh, so we're kind of one-of-a-kind one kind because not only do we do independent film, but mm -hmm. we do live music. And mm -hmm. so uh, we're, we're, we're really, really a, a special theater that you don't mm -hmm. really find many places. Mm -hmm. um, and, and like I said, you don't have to be a member to come. Mm -hmm. You don't have to volunteer to, to come to see live events or films. Mm -hmm. But it's really, a, it's really a, a feeling of community when you come as mm -hmm. a patron here. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that this is a nonprofit. We have many great nonprofits here in Olympia. And, and, and there's something very interesting about the greater Olympia area. The number of people that volunteer, the number of people that get involved, is a really high percentage of, of creative folks who do these types of things for a city and a metro area this size, isn't it? Yeah, there is a really, Olympia is a very, um, I mean, it's people just volunteer, not just right. here, but all over the place. Right. And I don't know how we compare to other cities of our size, but uh -huh. we do seem like people do really have, mm -hmm. whether they're still working or whether they're retired mm -hmm. or teenagers, seniors, mm -hmm. there just seem to be a real interest in, vol in volunteering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and we're very lucky um, as a nonprofit to uh, have such great volunteers, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. And nonprofits receive various types of funding in different ways. Can you explain a little bit about the funding you get as a nonprofit? Well, Olympia Film Society Capital Theater, pretty much uh, the majority of our money comes from ticket sales. Oh, okay. Um, so those are very important. Th it's very important for us. Mm -hmm. um, we have always been an organization that 
primarily uh, most of our budget is is, is ticket sales. Mm -hmm. um, it's shifting a little bit um, as we kind of go into the future, mm -hmm. um, but that's how we've sort of gotten by, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, and periodically we do write grants for special projects and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and at some point we will be doing some kind of capital campaign because mm -hmm. it is a 1924 building and we do have to do a lot of improvements to the building. Right. So at some point we will be launching that mm -hmm. and we don't have a date yet when we'll start doing that but mm -hmm. are um, you is this part of the uh combined fund that uh state employees can people we do we are part of that people mm -hmm. we do have some people who donate through the combined fund mm -hmm. yes yeah mm -hmm. we do okay. but again most of our most of our budget is still ticket sales right so um good or bad that's mm -hmm. just that's how we've been operating mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. ticket sales um and the other thing that I've noticed is that um, the, the theater itself is so beautiful and so historic, and you get a sense when you're in here of the history of it in a way. Has it been historically designated? Well, it, uh, we are in a historic district. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, and we uh, would like to actually get it um, designated. And that's that's a process, but we are we are one of the one of the buildings in the downtown historic district actually, mm -hmm. and our uh, theater director, um, theater manager Audrey Henley has actually been working on the project of restoring the stained glass that oh, we have that's, that's right. on the, on all the sides of the marquee, and so right. that's happening, and uh, that was a grant that mm -hmm. she wrote. Um, Excellent, and so. We're sort of starting small mm -hmm. um, in terms of what we're trying to do with the building. Mm -hmm. um, we'd, we'd love to have new seats. We'd love mm -hmm. to have new seats in the theater. There's mm -hmm. lots of things we'd like to do. Right. Um, and that's something that we're working on for the future, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the goal is really to keep this, this treasure indefinitely here in Olympia. Yeah. I mean, this, this is um, not just from an historic sense, but right. it, you know, it's, a, it's a venue that's been open one way or the other since 1924. That's amazing. And has had its doors open. And we're, we're just really lucky mm -hmm. that we're, we're in this venue. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And the fact that it seats so many people, that right. we can have large events here, mm -hmm. is really a rarity nowadays. Mm -hmm. yeah. 750, 750 seats, that's amazing. People, yeah. And it looks, it, 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 it just feels right, and, and the design and the scale just feels right. Yeah, it doesn't feel too big. That's right. Even, even though it seats 750, mm -hmm. it still feels very intimate when it, you come. Exactly, yeah, that sense does. of intimacy yeah. when you come here, that sense of feeling almost at home in a way. That, that's really kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Um, we always ask our guests uh, at the end of each show, what are one or two of the things that you like about living here in Thurston County? I think that what I, what I think I, you don't, um, sometimes you sort of have to go on a vacation for a week right. to sort of come back and realize the, mm -hmm. the incredible variety of um, music and art mm -hmm. and Film and filmmakers mm -hmm. um, in Olympia. Um, sometimes you, you, when you live a place a long time, I've lived here a long time. Right. You know, it, it is a small town feel, mm -hmm. but the amount of people that are doing all different kinds of art in Olympia right. is just incredible. And music and mm -hmm. filmmaking, and mm -hmm. um, Olympia has produced so many incredible artists and, mm -hmm. and musicians and filmmakers. And um, it's we're you know we're kind of a jewel. I think, really in in really in the country and certainly in Puget Sound, yeah. And it's amazing, in one of our uh, prior shows we were talking with uh, Michael Cade of the uh, EDC of Thurston County about economic development and livable wage jobs right. and the rest and the recession and are we recovering, which we are, thankfully. But he mentioned slowly. that- Slowly. Slowly, that's right. But he mentioned that during this recession, the arts uh, community, the arts sector of the economy was one that stayed strong here. That's just amazing. It did stay amazing. strong. It, we definitely took a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what was it, 2009 was right. the sort of the, the um, mm -hmm. depression, recession, whatever right. you want to call it. Um, That's right. We did take a hit. Mm -hmm. it, it did, it did, was a struggle for us, as mm -hmm. was other arts organizations. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think it's improving slowly mm -hmm. but surely. But he said that um, the arts community and the arts sector did better than many of the other sectors. 
So that really says a lot about the talent and creativity of yeah. folks here, yeah. doesn't it? And the well, commitment. It, yeah, and it tells you that you know people. You know, you need more than just bread and water. You, yes. you know, art is sort of art is art is part of what everybody needs. That's right. I don't care who you are, and mm -hmm. so basically, mm -hmm. even during a depression or a recession, people crave maybe even more. Exactly. Actually, when Thank when you. people are financially strapped, maybe mm -hmm. even more, they sort of need mm -hmm. an artistic outlet, mm -hmm. whether they're making music or film or, or going to see it, so mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, thank you very much for having us here today. And um, we really appreciate being here at this wonderful Capitol Theater and, and talking about the Olympia Film Society and its uh, annual uh, film festival in November. This is a cultural treasure that we have in the greater Olympia area and uh, something that we all, um, those who are involved in it really begin to realize just how wonderful this is. If you're interested in finding out more about the Olympia Film Society and the film festival coming up, please check out their website. It's www.olympiafilmsociety.org. Thanks for watching our show today. You can find us on Comcast Cable Channel 22 three times a week now, Mondays at 6.30 p.m., Wednesdays at uh, 9.30 p.m., and Fridays at 5 p.m. You can also find us on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash around Thurston County. I'm Patrick Babineau. Thanks so much for being with us today. We'll see you soon. <music>